Hey guys, so um, I wanted to do a quick little like health, general health update. Um, everything's okay, like I'm fine, but I uh, I know I posted the video talking about the medication switch and uh, I'm so close with this camera app. That's my default camera app on my phone. It always zooms in like, hey, hey, you wanna hear about my health problems? Um, yeah, so I'm making some food right now. I just got home from work, it's eight o'clock on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, wanted to talk about it real quick. So, uh, the medication stuff is going fine. My dosage has been upped to the amount that my uh, psychiatrist wanted it to be up to. Although, um, instead of taking 100, I have elected to take 75 milligrams. Because, um, it's like two pills in the morning and two at night. But the two in the morning, one of the side effects is drowsiness and... Um, it is making, I think taking the two in the morning is making me a little too drowsy throughout the day. Like I have my, you know, midday just like, oh, I feel heavy and tired. And I think that keeps hitting me. So I'm taking, without talking to him, you know, should be fine. But I'm taking just one in the morning and then two at night. And it seems to be working fine. I'm not taking my previous medication, the one I was taking for a good while, um, I still have the option to if I'm having trouble sleeping, but I haven't had that. I mean, I've definitely had trouble sleeping, but like trouble as in mentally having a hard time getting my brain to stop um, enough to sleep. I'm doing well. Um, I'm able to manage it pretty good. So, uh, but yeah, so like that's medication stuff going on right now. So pretty, pretty fine there. Uh, the other thing was... I've probably, you probably have heard me mention it a few times in streams or random videos, but like I've been having problems with heart palpitations and even before that having trouble with like lung capacity, feeling out of breath, feeling like my chest hurts and all this stuff. And, um, but the heart palpitations were like not hitting me very often. Uh, the most I ever had, it was like, I think two days in a row. It hit me once, uh, twice in a row. And, um, it's always from not like crouch right now, how I am, but like crouching, standing up, but like bending down and getting up real fast. It feels like the way I can describe it, it's like when I'm bending down and picking something up or if I'm lifting something heavy or, or going up and down stairs real fast, it's like the blood flow from my heart gets like cut off and then rushes all at once. So the heart's like to try to get the blood everywhere kind of thing. Um, and when it happens, it hits me where it's like, it just like doubles in heart rate. I don't know what my heart rate actually is at that point. I should measure it next time it happens. But like, I think my resting heart rate is like 68 or 72 beats per minute. I think it's been a while. It used to be like a 54, but not, that was when I was walking on the treadmill every single day. But now that I've not done that and I just walk like eight, 7,000 steps a day at my job, um, it's, you know, pretty average heart rate, probably less than average. But yeah, whenever that happens, it hits me hard and I just kind of like, hmm, my heart's racing real fast for sometimes no real reason. And by, and like, I'm not getting lightheaded. I don't feel dizzy or flush. I don't feel like my, like my, my arm isn't going numb and I having a heart attack. Um, and I don't feel nauseous and none of that stuff. It's just literally I'm as I was and now my heart's beating twice as fast and like I'm so I'm skinny So like I can feel that my heart rate is beating harder than normal I can physically feel it hitting my chest and I can feel the blood like course through my arms course through like the veins in my head and stuff like that Like I can feel all that that's something they don't tell you about re being real skinny is you can feel your fucking blood moving sometimes um Sorry, I'm making making pierogies and hot dogs. Hot dogs and pierogies. Um, <laughs> I'm about to talk about my diet and I'm um, having hot dogs and pierogies. Uh, but this is something something quick for right now. Um, I gotta turn this down a little bit. Turn that down a half. But yeah, so I mentioned it to my doctor and I have such a hard fucking time getting anybody to get a hold of me. It's the whole thing. I'm not gonna get into it. But I finally was able to get to the doctor after telling them about this. And well, it, well, for the first time this happened, I went to the ER. I'm like, hey, I think something was going on with my heart. And they went, okay, sit in this bed. We're going to do an EKG. And you're going to sit there for an hour and a half while we do that. And then we won't tell you anything. 
Okay. And then that happened, and they I sat, laid down, and they're measuring my heart rate. I'm thinking to myself, like, this isn't going to fuck it. My heart's fine right now. Like, I, it, I'm not having it currently, and it only ever lasts a minute, two minutes, at most three minutes. Maybe it, wasn't, maybe it felt like three minutes, but it was like at least two minutes it has lasted before. Um, and I'm sitting there like, I'm laying down, dude. My heart's not doing it. Like, you're not going to get, you're going to get my regular heart rate like this. And sure enough, they're like, yeah, everything looks fine. You can go. I went, okay. So waste of my fucking time. Thankfully, insurance covers it, but like waste of my goddamn time. And then now I went and that was like the end of last year or something like that when it first started happening. So then I went, okay, I'm going to fucking just go about my thing, talk to my primary care uh, physician, which I never talked to them, but I talked to the people at the front desk of my local office who loved to just completely ignore my phone calls. Um, oh, hold on. Sorry, I had to get my pierogies out of the water without dumping the water because I'm using that water for hot dog for me and Dylan. So, anyway, enjoy, enjoy my mustard. So yeah, I'm telling my doctor about all this stuff, and I finally am able to get in there pretty recently for an, EK, an EKG at my doctor's office, at the one in my town. So I can finally go and have them get new readings, because they're like, okay, we want to get you on what's called a Zio patch, which is going to measure your heart rate for an extended period of time as you go about your day, so we can see how it is when you're active, when you're resting, and if you have one of those palpitations again. And I'm like... Can we just, like, throw me on a fucking treadmill or have me do, like, a bunch of, like, um, I don't, they're called, uh, the trigger word, they're called suicides, I think we did them in school, or whatever, it's where you go, like, down, bam, drop, push up, back up, jump, and, like, that whole thing. It was either that was suicides, or, no, that was, was that burpees or something? Because the suicides was back and forth at the basketball court lines, and whatever, I don't remember, but here, here nor there. So, I'm thinking, like, can you guys just, like, trigger one of these things so we can get the readings for what that is so you can see how irregular it is and what causes it? And, anyway, it's a whole, it's a whole fucking thing. It's been ongoing for months. So, we're getting the Zio patch, and I finally got a call back about getting that, um, next, uh, next Tuesday. I have an appointment to go get it put on, and I've never had one before, so I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna have to look like Iron Man with something sticking on my chest, or is it like a little patch or something? Like, I, I just, like a little patch with a USB that offloads data? I don't know how the fuck it works. Is it waterproof? Can I have sex with it? I should plan sex. I have to find someone to plan sex with. So I can measure my heart rate. <laughs> um, but, so, we're doing that. And, uh... Another thing I've been concerned about is like, well, one of the big things that millennials around my age are getting sick from um, on a, a huge trend right now is colon cancer. So I'm like, huh, I should look into colon cancer. I should maybe go get someone to shove a camera in my asshole and see what's up with that. Uh, but getting that schedule for just because I said so is obviously not reason enough to approve it for the insurance. So I have to figure that out. I've got to talk to my doctor about that and see what I can do because I'm, I get worried about that kind of thing. And even though I don't have that bad of a diet, I don't usually consume hot dogs. Hot dogs are like a maybe two or three times a year I'll have a hot dog or two. It's not very often. And if I do, I don't load it with like fucking chili and shit. It's like I'm having a hot dog with some mustard. And they're little hot dogs too. They're not even big hot dogs. And I'm having pierogies, which is just fucking dough and mashed potato. I'm not even putting butter on that. So it's like, my diet's not bad. The worst thing I have is pizza and energy drinks. But that's subsidized with water, like 20 ounces of water before bed every day. The energy drink is consumed over like a six-hour period. So it's not like I'm just pounding fucking monsters and just putting caffeine straight into my veins. Hell, I have way less caffeine than I ever used to have. I used to have eight to 900 milligrams of caffeine a day. A day. I'd be drinking that shit until like 8 p.m. and still... That was the floor, not my pooper. Um, I've been drinking that shit all day long, and then over the years I have gone less and less and less, and I'm down to less than 200 milligrams a day. Sometimes I'll have a monster or something that's 300 mg or like a bang that's 300, but that's the only one, and most of the time I don't even finish it because those ones that have the more, more caffeine in them um, are less carbonated, and I want the carbonation. I don't drink energy drinks because I want caffeine. I don't give a... Fuck, I don't give a flying fladoodle about caffeine. They just taste yummy. 
They just taste good in my tummy. Like, who doesn't want a cotton candy flavored sparkling drink? That's awesome. And Red Bull tastes good. And like, you know, classic sugar-free Rockstar tastes like gasoline, but I like it. They taste good. I just wish there were caffeine-free versions of the energy drinks I want to drink, of the brands I want to drink. If uh, That's why I drink them. And yeah, I get headaches if I don't have caffeine, which is just because it's, you know, your brain's used to having it. Your brain's used to getting that, so without it. But what I'm trying to do right now is I just recently bought on Amazon, not sponsored, but if you wanted to sponsor me, I'll take it. It's just one of these, like, mini blenders. It's little blender right there it's like one serving it's like 16 ounces or something and i'm just gonna make myself smoothies in the morning with chia seeds and blended fruit and stuff like that and i'm using instead of milk or water i'm using um like v8 deliciously green and stuff like that as the liquid for it and i've been drinking some kombucha just trying to clear up my colon trying to clear up my gut just in case I want to have a healthy gut biome because I'm stressed about getting colon cancer because I used to get hemorrhoids real bad. And last year, I had such bad um, rumble tumble that I literally whited out on my toilet and cracked my fucking head open. I didn't crack my head open, but I fell face first onto the floor and whited out for a few seconds. And that was r random. That's I've never whited out before from anything like that. I've definitely got pains hard enough to where I was lightheaded and had to lay down. That has been happening throughout my life, so it's nothing new. Even before I was consuming any energy drinks, I've always had that. So I think it's just like maybe a really rare IBS or just like a weird blockage or something like that that happens. I don't know, but I don't have regular shits either. So it's just I'm wait. I'm getting that Zio patch, and I'm kind of curious because that kind of sounds like fun. I like to I like statistics, and I like personal stats. So I want to see what my health, what my heart stats are. Are they better than yours? Probably not, but I don't know. So that's go that's what's going on with that. And I am stressed. I am worried because it has been happening lately where without the palpitations, I've still been getting like pressure in my chest or just from like running around at work and lifting heavy stuff and walking back and forth rapidly and whatever, just getting chest pains and sometimes hard to breathe or um, sometimes it feels like I have like hunger in my chest like right here in my chest I'll get that like empty pitted just gurgly feeling but it's not actually gurgling but it kind of feels like that feeling you get in your stomach when you wake up and you're really hungry it's that empty pitted feeling but like in my chest so I don't know if that's my heart or my lungs because sometimes it feels like it's both and I don't know and what I've found mostly is either um, it could be some tachycardia thing. Um, it could be POTS because a lot of people are developing, or um, are yeah, developing POTS syndrome from after having COVID. Uh, and I'm not a COVID conspirator or anything like that. I got my vaccines, um, but I will say, um, I didn't have any of this stuff until I, after I got the vaccine. I didn't have COVID at all until January first. But I have got my two vaccines and my booster and i had never experienced those heart palpitations like that like just rant like triggered in the way that they were and whenever they stop they don't just like slowly fade out they just and they just stop it feels like my heart literally stopped and it just goes back into rhythm so it's weird and i never had anything like that in my entire life until i got the vaccine so it's the only thing i can say where like that's a direct correlation so something with a vaccine did something weird. I got the Pfizer vaccine, if it matters to you. Like I said, not being conspiratorial or whatever have you, I did my part, I got my vaccine, um, but those two things are definitely linked somehow. And um, then I did get COVID after having everything on January 1st of this year. And since having COVID, people are saying like, you could have long COVID, where you just the symptoms just kind of chill and stay with you over an extended period of time long even though you're not testing you still like pierogi please let go i want to eat you get this fucking motherfucker get this motherfucker my hands are clean but you just made me work for that um yeah people were saying you could be getting long covid or whatever have you i don't know anything much about that but it, it's not that hard to figure out um or again pot syndrome or some tachycardia thing or whatever there's a bunch of fa there's a bunch of things that it could be and i don't know and i wish my doctor would fucking call me back 
sooner than like a month or two. I wait so long between phone calls and they don't answer the phone. I'm going to lose my mind. I don't want to talk about it. Stop making me talk about it. Ooh. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I want to let you guys know that. Keep you posted. Keep you updated. I'm fine. I feel fine. Just stressed because then the anxiety hits and I go, the anxiety makes it worse. I don't want to make it worse. So I'm going to go eat my food.